Hello everybody. As you can see, back in the woods in the state of Kentucky, as is pretty much the usual here. But uh, not in my usual stomping grounds. I'm actually in Mammoth Cave National Park today. <clears throat> and I'm following sort of a bridal path right now. But today, I'm taking you along on the sort of adventure I don't usually video, which is going to be off trail. I'm doing some off trailing today, going to some waterfalls. So it should be pretty fun. And actually right about here is probably where I'm gonna have to really deviate from this trail. But uh, yeah, don't know how well, uh, I guess, edited this video is gonna be. It might be a little more sort of run and gun than the usual videos, but well, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. But uh, anyway, we gotta get off the trail and start heading towards these waterfalls. So let's do it. And I gotta put my gloves back on because it's really cold out here this morning. Let's do it. All right, so far things have been pretty easy here. Uh, after a short little downhill there away from that bridal path, I've reached the waterway that our waterfalls are on. And it doesn't look like much right now because we are up towards sort of the, the headwaters of it. But what we're going to do now is we're gonna work our way down towards the waterfalls. The first cluster of them, there's a whole bunch on both this waterway and then one across the road um, that I want to try to check out today. But the first cluster is right down here a little ways. Uh, so far this has been pleasantly easy. <laughs> a lot easier than some of the last few off trails I did. But yeah, let's just keep on following this until we get to some waterfalls. From what I've seen, they should be pretty impressive. And my hands are getting really cold again, so I need to quit flabbing here. Alright, so this is the first waterfall. It's called Pillar Falls. Uh, named such because there's that little pillar under it that you may have been able to make out. Not nearly as much flow as I had hoped for. I checked the Kentucky Mesonet before I came down here, and this place got hammered with rain. Wednesday and Thursday, but I guess it's all managed to move downstream already. So, pretty disappointed in that. Also, it's full sun, which I don't like today. I was hoping it'd be cloudier, but the forecast changed on me. This one's called Azure Falls. Much more promising, sheltered from the sun. Definitely gonna try a shot here. I just gotta figure out how to get down to it. Looks like if I continue along the right here, I can kind of hook around the cliff band and go down, which is what I had planned from by looking at my maps before this trip. So we're going to try that. But yeah, this, this one looks a lot more promising. So let's head on down there and see if we can't get us a shot, shall we? So a good habit to do, to kind of give back to the areas you visit. What I just did there, you find some trash, pick it up. I know it, I just had it on the ground right there. I am going to pack it in my bag and carry it out, don't worry. Unfortunately, you find it everywhere, so pack some of it out with you. It doesn't cost so much weight, and it's a good thing to do. Anyway, Azure Falls, let's shoot this thing. This thing's really cool. There's also a little arch right there. Yeah, I like this spot. Alright, so I tried a couple different compositions here at Azure Falls. Not positive that I got anything I love. I tried one directly in front of the falls here. I tried one over here, kind of looking down this cool kind of carved out rock wall to act as a leading line into the falls. I don't love the lighting here, the sun 
is directly in front of the falls, so it's casting much harsher light on the falls than in the shadows. Uh, I would have much preferred an overcast day. That's my preferred conditions for waterfalls. And I would also like more water. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to plan to come back during flood stages. So we're gonna continue on downstream here. The next waterfall is Cobalt Falls. And then there's another one further downstream on a side drainage that looked really cool in pictures, but I don't think it's gonna have a lot of water. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to it yet. I can technically go down to it and then work my way back up the hill, meet up with the road, and then continue on that other stream that has more waterfalls, like I said earlier. Don't know if I'm gonna do that yet, but for now, onward to Cobalt. So far, I do not see a way down though. It's probably about a 30 to 40 foot cliff right there. Um, so we're not going down here, obviously. I'm gonna continue to work my way down and see if I can find a spot down and work my way back up to it because that's kind of cool looking. The only thing I didn't like is that there's a big down uh, tree branch in it. I don't like that, but that, that it just looks like a cool spot and I'd really like to see it from below. So we're gonna see if we can find a way down. Let's do some exploring. I just noticed there's a little arch right there. Probably can't really see it in the video, especially with the harsh light on it. There's a bunch of ice on it, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, sunlight's really reflecting off it, but yeah, it's a tiny little arch right there. It's pretty cool. So earlier I was saying how, you know, this is much easier than Eastern Kentucky in terms of you don't hit these big cliff fans that you gotta really spend a bunch of time working your way around, which is still mostly true. It's still way easier than like, doing something similar to this in Red River Gorge. But I just hit a huge cliff band and had to come way, 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 way downstream from uh, that waterfall I was wanting to shoot. So I found a way down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back upstream and <laughs> try to reach that waterfall and shoot it. But it's actually pretty cool down here. A lot of, a lot of big cliff faces and rock shelters, but I'm gonna keep heading down. Should hopefully be much easier walking from here now. But we don't have to fight the cliff. That tree in that waterfall, that dead down tree is a real bummer. Oh, this would be such an amazing shot without it. It's, it's bigger than what I think I could reasonably move. It's got a big root ball on the end. Man, that tree's a bummer. This is such a cool waterfall. That, that just really takes away from the shot. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I mean, I'll probably still try to shoot it, don't get me wrong, but it's a bummer. So if nothing else from this trip, I have decided that I need to come back here when conditions are better. And by better, I mean one, overcast light, because I like nice, flat, even light on waterfalls. This is my personal preference for shooting them. And in flood stages, uh, just heavy, heavy rain. I'd like to come here while it's actively receiving one to two inches of rain. I think that would be incredible. I mean, just picture this thing just gushing water. And that would be extremely impressive. So, I'm definitely gonna have to make that happen one of these days. Unfortunately, today's not those conditions. So, I don't think I'm getting any spectacular portfolio-worthy shots here. You know, maybe I'm wrong, which by the way, you can check out my portfolio at serialphotog.com. You can also buy prints there, just as an FYI, if you're interested in that. But anyway, the point is, nothing else today's just going to be a nice uh, scouting hike good day out but who knows maybe I'll walk away with something that surprises me but I doubt it so I tried a couple different comps the down tree in it's not as big of a deal as I thought it was going to be but I'm going to pack up and head back downstream where I can get back up 
I have to go so far down that I might as well go to that side falls that I said I wasn't going to. And then I think I'll just like head straight uphill and meet back up with the road and then uh, decide what to do from there. But I'll probably be going to the next stream over and checking out those waterfalls. So let's quit talking about it and let's actually do it. All right, so I made the side trip to that uh, side falls I mentioned. This is called Pinnock's Pocket. I believe it's also known as Pinnock's Point. And as you can see, the waterfall isn't really flowing much, but that right there is where it's called the Pocket. And that's actually an arch right there. I'm pretty sure uh, you would never get up in there uh, right now anyway, because that is solid ice there. I'm not gonna shoot it, because one, there's basically no water on it. And two, the lighting is just horrendous here right now but it is really really cool and again in the right conditions of overcast and especially heavy rain here I mean like two plus inches here this would be incredible if this was just roaring but this is such a small insignificant side drainage here that it would take a ton of rain to do that there you have it Penix pocket that's all I really got to say about it. All I'm really going to film here. I'm going to basically just beeline back up to the hill until I make it to the road and then continue on from there. So that's the plan. I've hit the trail, which I continue this way to the road and then we'll go down to the other stream. They must have rerouted this trail from when the map was made because it's actually not where the map says it is. The map says it's further up that way. But this is definitely it. It's got blazes and everything. So we're just gonna take this nice easy walk back to the road. And then, then it's time for more off-trail again. <laughs> back to some more waterfalls. You know, I'll be honest, I was debating not going to the other ones because the conditions for photography suck, quite frankly. But it was a three hour drive here and I'm here, so I guess I'll go to them. Nothing else, it's a fun hike. Just keep my legs in good shape for continuing to do this stuff. So we'll go to them, at least some of them. So should be a pretty short walk back to the road. And then we'll get back off the trails because that's where the real excitement is, it's off trail.